All right, today we're gonna to be unboxing the FMK Firearms 9C1. This particular model is the Elite Series. This is a polymer framed nine millimeter handgun. So first up in the box, you're gonna get your manual. This manual is complete with picture. Different procedures on how to operate and take apart the firearm. You'll get your lock. As well as a bag of some accessories. You'll get some synthetic CLP lube. As well as some suppressor height sights. You'll get two rear sights, one with a two dot sight picture, and one with that U notch, typical of a Glock. And you also obviously get your front post. And because this firearm is capable of mounting a red dot sight, you also get some included screws for mounting that red dot for the Trigicon RMR, as well as Vortex red dot sights. You also will get the Vortex Viper in here, as well as the Vortex Viper manual, the cleaning cloth, as well as the battery. So the Vortex Viper does come with this nice rubber cover when not in use. Get a good look at this. This is a design similar to the RMR in that the battery is mounted on the bottom there. You will also get two 14 round steel magazines, uh, round indicators on the side there, as well as the FMK logo on that side, and white followers. So, in my opinion, uh, and without going into any of the features yet, this is a very feature-rich firearm, especially for the money, um, as well as, you know, the, in the included red dot sight made by Vortex. This is a great value. So we'll start off at the rear here. You get a round chamber indicator right there. So it'll be a red dot that when a round is chambered, it will stick out. This gun is going to accept Glock iron sights. So obviously what's included already installed in the gun are just regular height iron sights of that white U-notch in the rear and then a white dot in the front. Up top here will be a red dot sight plate when you do not have a red dot sight installed. You have slide serrations, both sides, as well as on the front. And there's some nice weight reduction done here. You can see that beveled edge right there on both sides, as well as a cut on the top of the slide there. This gun features a four and a half inch threaded barrel, and it is threaded half by 28. On the bottom, you'll get a one section pick rail then on the grip area, on the, on the back here, it'll be a nice uh, rubber material. You have a slightly beveled magwell. Try to get that on camera. Um, I wouldn't say the most aggressive stippling, uh, but this is a nice uh, grip texture right here. Then you also have finger grooves on the front of the firearm there. 
And because this is the Elite Series, it comes with this, uh, the Elite Series trigger, which is a slightly lighter trigger pull as compared to the base model 9C1. So one thing to note about this, uh, they've got little messages here and there hidden on the gun. Not really hidden, but um, like on the back here in the slide plate. You'll see that it says uh, Freedom and Liberty. And then on the, on the grip area here, it says Thank You Armed Forces. And then on the magazines, on the bottom there, it says E Pluribus Unum. Pretty interesting. So I'll show you the way those magazines fit. Right there. Overall, pretty good fit and finish on, on everything. And the mags do drop free. You get a nice extended slide release right there, as well as a nice extended mag release. From what I can tell, the mag release is not ambi, uh, and I was not able to find information as to whether it was or wasn't. I'll go ahead and show you the takedown. Very similar to a Glock, in that you pull the trigger to do it. So, here's that recoil spring. For whatever reason, every time I take it down, uh, it just kind of pops out, but just one thing to note. There's the grip area. It's very similar to a Glock. See a lot of manufacturers doing that lately. Overall, a very nice package. And like I said, very nice package uh, for the feature set and the price that they are. If you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comment section. Thank you for watching.